Mokka bay da ta gare namu yar tun tun gare mu ala bay gare me ba yi ya yi ba fi ba fu bank mu ala bay mi to dan nyausa ay mu fu bank en da kai ko hi da ka fa da ba da fata me nan ke ba ya yi ba ya ba ci nan bi go si jimi aso be bank na to bo so why are we here this morning it's very simple we want you to know that we are doing everything possible so that this bank will come back not just here in Chitu but in all the 300 locations that we have all across the country so it's our responsibility and our promise to you that we, sh we should be coming back and get back here to Chitu apenedi 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 ne ne mata apenedi dr besu susi get a evapi and the anya be abachi no ni be nya pe ji en banka aga bugo atrobo e be banka alu alojira de ka de ka de ka ala fa ton ye le gana ala be chito ha e de le nya si la pia ala be va pre nya ni be abachi no ni be banka aga bugo atrobo lo dare jere do pia aga bugo atrobo and since our bank was closed here has anybody come here to open a bank no no nobody so for us there's a vacuum in 2017 we had given a lot of money out to people who are working on government contracts and government contracts to build roads to build bridges to build schools to build you know, hospitals the coco roads to coco board contractors ganian contractors to do the work and that one too we have been doing for several years the money goes it comes back the money goes it comes back so that everybody also then gets their money ebeto gademe ba is to bank fe do ya no ma yo na nyebe na ko ga ko jajara do do ba yo me kuna do ta fla cha yo ma ku do ko bank e ga ko demo ke bu yo cha na gaji yo ko ko na na lun yo ko ko na na mo jidu do ola ha o le me contract ha o le me o ba san ga ke no ze ho a ya <laughs> They decided to freeze freeze payment freeze payment to contractors freeze payment even if you had a certificate and even froze froze the projects that the people were doing first of all the contractors are not getting their money so they are not paying us and if they are not paying us it also means that our customers are also not getting paid because the money them it is their money that we used to lend to give to these contractors to do the work so when everything was frozen that is when we started to experience problems including problems here in Jitu ebe chop me akpe ve kwele wi adre la me ke 2017 ye jidu du ye ye si bazi jia nke ba jo enye be contractor si nka ta ho dale yu be ba ko wo do e do crown no da sedi gbana lo certificate no si hafi o wo do o le be no ke fe na ola eh jiri be ba gbe no da no fe he na o ta ba na bela ame si ka ta ko fe ge ba da de bank e si yu ko na contract abi do ma wo do contract abi to ma le fe he o wo ma ha e me be na o ka ba do asi eh contract abi be gaji ala be be o me nya he ga na o ko la wo ha o ma to ba he fe na bank e de bank na ko nya be ga o ako na mi o ta me de contract abi o chu ga ke jiri do bo chu so how much money was involved at that time 2018 2019 the amount of money that was owed to the contractors was 1.8 billion Ghana cedis not old billion new billion 1.8 billion Ghana cedis a lot of money a lot of money which we have been going back and forth back and forth trying to get the money back and today today with interest The money is now at 7.1 billion Ghana cedis. Le Dr. Ponyamula le eh esimeke ye be contractor oba hoga 
Oba ko odo mo e ga me ga do to tro ko la e ga ka ta pe wu me sike ranye fe a e ba ni CD billion de ka to to je sike le eni which is 1.8 billion le 2018-2019 sike ranye ta pe de pe wi eni e pe ta pe de pe wi a sike ranye ke fi fi la ye ru ko na mi a e fe ka ta ni CD billion adre to to je sike ka so what i'm saying to you is that we are doing everything possible now to get this money back so that when we get this money back everybody who is owed everybody whose money is with GN bank you will get your money back so the money is not in my pocket the money is not at home the money is with coco board is with get fund ministry of roads and highways ministry of works and housing that is where the money is we have written all of this to them copy to attorney general copy to the president of Kufuadu, copy to Baobia, copy to all of them, Minister of Finance, that now we want our money. And that that money, nobody should make a mistake. It doesn't belong to Papa Kwesindo. It's not my money. It is our customer's money. So maybe somebody looks at the money and says, hey, so we are going to pay all this money to one man. It is not correct. The money belongs to our customers. Some of them have had many, many, many problems. Some of them have had health problems. Some of them have even died, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, we want to correct the situation. And so, if we have to go to you know, court, if we have to do anything, and that's what we are also telling you. If you know Nana Kufado, you should tell him. Pay the money. It is not Papa Kwesindom's money. It's my money. If you see Baumia, tell him. He should pay the money. It is not Endom's money. It is customer's money. Uh, if you see Minister of Finance, tell him. The money belongs to us, not to him. That they should pay the money. And when the money is paid, then everybody will get their money, will bring the bank back. I see. Apenedi, 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 apenedi. Ta do kole bonbolo be e gama mele igbo mele fe kodoku mo ale be gama ele koko bo togo ele get fan togo ele road and high with togo o we ba do gaya o ba ko ko chasi ya bi o me kugbe ko fe o ale be ba na be hele hele ba chi akona mi ta fifi ya yo le nu si anu o be yo aga bo a ho gama e be yo nwa gbale ko do da tu pro la na do da ko fa do ntonto the road to him yo nwa gbale ko be yo nwa gbale ko do da me eh 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 gaja do ko pele gaji poro ka ta yo nwa gbale ko do da ake <laughs> You are you are talking about Messi, Messi, Kenya, Kenya. Any other maluchi me? There is a bank here that two hundred people are doing that. There is a contractor working on a sea defence project since 2017. We gave the contractor the money to start the project. Today, the man is owed more than two hundred million Ghana cedis, and since he started the project, they haven't paid him even one peswa. Wicked government. We we had over seven thousand employees working with us, more than seven thousand working with us. Many of them now are unemployed. Many of them are unemployed. Some of them are doing jobs that is lower than what they should be doing. But what we are saying is, 
let the money come we will open the bank and we'll give these people their jobs back so they can work and earn something for their pockets yeah. Mm. Mm. And as we've been going around the country, we see some of the buildings. We went to get land. We went to build. And some of these places, they have locked them up. Nobody's been maintaining them. Some of the things are breaking down, the walls are breaking down, uh, the air conditioning units, um, the generators, the computers, we don't know where they are. Okay. Even about 300 cars, yes, about 300 cars, so motorcycles, all of that, we don't know where they took them. For five years, if you put a car there somewhere for five years, what happens? So that when we get the license back, we'll be ready to get started. Good. We did not go to government to take money to come and support the bank and then go and misuse it. We haven't stolen anybody's money. Bank of Ghana has not given us money to go where they can say that, oh, they gave us money and we went and misused it. There's nothing like that. Rather, it is our money. It's our money that is with the government agencies. So they should just pay the money back to us. And I will tell you, because we believe in, in, in how uh, right we are, because we believe that we haven't done anything that should make someone punish us like this. So I believe that if this government that is there, MPP. that is headed by Nana Kufuadu, and, and that if they do not pay us our money and give us the, our license back, we know that the next one will pay the money to us yes. and will bring the bank back. Which is jam. And so for us, we believe that if, if they want to correct things, they should do it now. They should do it now. But if they don't do it, we know that the next one will give us our money Which back, is jam and pay the customers, and we'll get our license back, and all the bank branches will be open, including the one here, Osee <laughs> So I want to thank you all for coming to listen to our message, a simple message. So I am saying somebody must account. Somebody must tell us what they have done with the assets and somebody must pay the money. They must pay the money and must pay the money. So we pay the contractors. We pay the contractors. Uh, we pay the customers and the bank also then comes. So I want to thank you once again. Whatever you are doing, I'm hoping that God will bless it. Amen. So that it will become successful. Just like we do want the bank 
to become successful so that your lives will go well so you have good money in your pocket yeah. uh, so to be able to take care of yourselves and your family yeah. thank you very much uh, prayer, 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 prayer,